In this video, we bring you a Champions Breakdown with John Lindo and Alyssa Glanville and teach you how understanding basic patterns can let you dance advanced moves. What's up, gang? It's Brian B. And Miss Megan. And we are doing a Champions Breakdown with John Lindo and Alyssa Glanville. And what I love about this pattern is that uh, probably what you don't understand is there is a very basic pattern that you're likely to know that's happening underneath this that allows them to stay on time when they're dancing their pattern. So here is the pattern that they do. We have one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we look at it from the other side. One, Two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool. cool. So one, the pattern that's really going on underneath this is this. Miss Megan doesn't even know, but watch how well this works. We have one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, nine, and ten. If we did it again, and I'm going to walk out my footwork, one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, nine, and ten. So that is actually the pattern that's going on underneath in their heads while they're doing this cool lean and accent. So let's go back to the lean and accent for just a second because what's brilliant about this is they're able to accent the music, right? Musicality, whole different discussion, but they dance one, two, three, and four, right? And then they hit the accent four and five, six, and then she does a little seven, eight, and then we walk out nine and 10, or just a nine, 10 for the leaders in the way that John did it, right? So again, we're able to, with this pattern, we're using that roll in, roll out pattern, but we're able to use this cool structure of the way he set this up to accent the, uh, the five, which I think was mm -hmm. John kind of leading it, the seven, which was her using her leg accent, but John was allowing for it, and then the nine and 10 where they got back on because they kind of had that basic pattern um, playing in the background. So they got to hear one, two, three, and four, right? And then they went and five, and five, six. She did the little seven, eight, and then she tripled out as he walked out nine and 10. So typically if we did this roll in, roll out, let's cover this real quick. One, two, three, and four. Megan would be on the right foot for four, right? And then we do this type of thing. Five and six, seven and eight, and we'd anchor nine and 10. And we did it one more time here. One, two, three, and four. Megan's on the right foot, five and six. She's on the left, seven and eight, and we let go nine and 10. That's what's playing in the background. Now, what does he do specifically to allow this to happen? Well, if I take this hand and I feed it to Megan's shoulder, it's gonna help get her onto that right foot. But John wants to keep the hand down, right? And if I keep the hand down, what's gonna happen is likely it's gonna be harder for her to get to that foot. So you're gonna see him use this hand to remind her that that's the foot that she's going to. Cool, so if we do it from this side, he starts to use this left hand and feed and allow his partner to get onto the right foot. Now when you watch the video, um, it's not like a super clear step, right? These are advanced high level dancers. So they're splitting their weights, but they understand where the music is and what foot they're quote unquote supposed to be on, right? And so to set it up, we have one, two, three, and four, right? So Megan's, let's call her on her right foot, obviously split weight. Now from here, we have the accent for and five. And five, we're gonna hold for six. Then there's a little accent in the music, seven, eight, doesn't have to be the sweep, whatever you want, and then John still has control of this, so Miss Megan can't get away. And then when we're done for the nine and 10, we release this nine and 10. It's an anchor step for Megan or a triple step. John just walks it out. So one more time. We have a one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight. You can see I'm holding this back. I won't even let Megan go. And then we go nine and 10. Cool. So what I want you to do is practice this pattern first. When we get to this uh, left foot from Megan, 
right, boom, anchor step, one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, anchor step, because we've also taught this with little sweeps, three and four, we sweep five, six, seven, eight, anchor step, which would be an easy way to accent the five and the seven, but they do it in this more advanced way. So So I want you to, when you guys look at these champion patterns, look at the basic that's going on underneath. See if there's a pattern that you know that fits underneath it, that you can keep track of the counts, and uh, you'll be well on your way to using the patterns that you know and creating more advanced patterns, um, more advanced patterns. So thanks for hanging out with us. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up on this video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Head on over to the website and uh, enter your email address. You'll get 67 free videos. That's how many are in the free membership. 67 free videos. You'll also be part of our, our Move of the Week Club where we share really cool resources a couple times a month via email with tens of thousands of people around the world. So get on that and uh, we'll see you guys on the dance floor again soon.